Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Interworks based web hosting control panel on CentOS 7. Now before we go with the installation part of Interworks on CentOS 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Interworks. Interworks is a web hosting control panel software developed by Interworks LLC. The application is divided into two interfaces. The first, Nodeworks, which is used by server administrators to manage a server. And second, that is Siteworks, which is used by a website owner to manage a particular website. The Nodeworks interface also contains functionality for web hosting resellers to securely manage multiple Siteworks accounts without allowing the ability to manage server demos and configurations. Application-based support includes Apache, PHP, MySQL, Perl, and DJB DNS. Email-based support includes POP3, SMTP, IMAP services in using QMail. Interverse is accessed via HTTPS on port 2443. In addition to a web-based user interface, all Interworks functions can be managed from the command line or API. Interworks requires a dedicated server or virtual private server. System requirements of Interworks are minimal as it may run server clusters on Raspberry Pi devices using ARM chipset. If you talk of the history, Interworks was originally developed as an internal project of web host Nexus in early 2000s and was spun off to form an independent company Interworks LLC in 2004. The product is currently developed and maintained by a development team located in Pittsburgh, PA. If you talk of the features, the Interworks control panel comes equipped with most standard web hosting control panel features with additional focus on load balancing and server clustering in a comparison of web hosting control panels. Now if you talk of various uh, more details of Interworks that is uh, that is having which is uh, which is being listed on Interworks that is it is having stable release which is 5.0.14 build 579 which was launched on April 18. 8 2014 and it is only supported by CentOS, Fedora, RHEL and Scientific Linux and it is basically a web hosting type control panel and website which you can see that is interworks.com and you can see you can have to buy it now so it is not a, a free product I will be just installing it and I will just showing you the panel so you can buy out and you can take the license key and you can uh, work on everything so click on features you can find more features community developers and support so let us go to our VMware workstation and I've already installed CentOS Fresh Edition and over here you just what to have to do is to just connect your CentOS machine to internet which I have already connected you can see with IF config it is there and if I ping that is google.com it is giving me the ping so what you have to do is to just issue this command that is sh less than bracket curl space minus small s capital L interworks.com slash inst dot SH. So it is an inbuilt script which is being downloaded from the internet and it will automatically take care of installing Interworks. You just have to type in your uh, web address after installing and Interworks will be there. So press enter and now it will take some time to crawl the fastest servers and after fastest servers are being crawled it will be automatically starting the installation. You don't have to press anything just you have to press enter when it is required. So you can see that it is determining the Linux distribution and now it is resolving some dependencies. So these all things are required in order to install Interworks. So you can see that it will install four packages and some packages will be updated and it has started doing it. So about 5 MB of disk space will be required to download and install. So you can see uh, it is taking less time, very less time and after that it will be installing all these components and then we will be starting, we will be seeing the live version of Interworks running on Ubuntu, on uh, sorry, CentOS 7. So it is updating the packages now and after that cleaning up packages will be there. Let's wait. So some packages may take some time. Almost there. So now it is installing the MariaDB server. 
and cleaning up will be performed. Yes, so now you can see that it has a, the script will install Interbox CP on your system. So we just have to press enter to begin the installation and it has directed all my target, platform, processor, RPM target, distro, DIR, SRPM, DIR, SRM, host, iWorks, EPU. So press enter and now it is installing WET, importing some keys and it will be doing everything meticulously step by step. So the installation time will be about 20 to 25 minutes. So I recommend that you take a cup of coffee with you and uh, you can uh, see the enjoyment of the installation of Interworks control panel on CentOS 7. So till it imports, you can see that uh, SE Linux conflicts with some Interworks CP so you can just, uh, it will be disabling it and it will be automatically doing everything. So I will be pausing the video in between that and I will be giving you some basic things only. So you can see that it is installing Interworks repository. So now what we have to do is to just press Y and press enter. So these packages will be removed and some other packages will be installed. So press Y and press enter. Linux is a very stable uh, thing and sometimes very sensitive also. So one thing doesn't have dependent on another and one thing cannot be dependent on another. So make it sure that it uh, works as per your requirements. So till it does, uh, let me pause the video for some time and it will be regaining the video in between so that you can see each and every step. And now it is installing LVS load balancer and all the conflict resolutions are being completed. And now it is installing 32-bit OpenSSL, MySQL server, Apache web server because is it a website again? So it requires Apache web server at the front end and MariaDB at the back end. So now it is installing PHP because I can say some, that some components of Interworks might be written into PHP because it's again a website which I will be demonstrating after it gets installed. Qmail is getting installed now. Now Vmail, Vpopmail, very important uh, component for Interworks is getting installed. Now we can see that it is installing PHP iWorks, iWorks DB hyphen and HTTPD iWorks. So now you can see that it is installing the main component that is Interworks control panel and from this time it will be taking 10 to 15 minutes more to install. So now you can see that the Interworks CP has been installed and now it has created some symbolic links and it is moving the Interworks CP to slash user slash local slash Interworks. So more uh, things will be coming on but uh, I can say that we have almost reached the 50% of our installation and it is now moving vpop mail to slash where slash vpop mail and installing some miscellaneous extra tools. Now you can see that it is installing the rebuilding of the system disk quotas, setting up the server time with synchronizing boss, that is basic input output system. And yes, we have installed our uh, interworks so to activate your license, we just have to go to this IP address and we have to press enter. So let us uh, first of all take our IP address that is ifconfig that is 192.168.117.155. So what we have to do, we just go to this uh, web tab https slash slash that is 192.168.117.155 colon 2080 slash enter works so now you can see that uh, it is giving some it is reloading the connection so let me take some another IP address that is sorry it is node work sorry sorry so this is the IP address uh, let us go with this that is 2443 let's delete this and let us go through this yes now you can see that it has initialized and now what you have to do you can just create your uh, email password and license key all it is required over the interworks hosting panel and uh, 
with this uh, i end this video in which i have demonstrated how to install interworks control panel web hosting panel on centos 7 thank you so much for watching share with your friends do give this a shot thank you so much